Hi, you are very welcome to this 15 minute mobility sequence. Perfect for practicing at any point throughout the day, just when you want to get the body moving a little bit and feeling a little less stiff. So we won't do any breath work. Feel free to use that at the start of your practice if you need to. We will begin um, in a downward facing dog, so no messing. Take the hands to face the front edge of the mat and the knees have a generous bend as you take the chest towards the thighs. Now feet can be about hip distance apart or maybe more so, but we're slowly coming into the posture. So take whatever movement you need to, pedaling out the feet through left and through right, wrapping the arms so that the armpits are facing towards each other and just slowly bring the heels towards the direction of the mat. Gaze is looking between the thighs and the chest is coming towards the thighs. Heart is over the head. We're slowly coming into our practice. From here, find stillness and we'll ripple through to take a high plank. Now the shoulders are in line with the wrists and the back is flat. Arms are strong, legs and core are engaged. As we exhale, we'll drop the knees just about an inch above the mat, hovering here, and taking the sit bones back towards the heels, we'll take them up towards the ceiling and find ourselves again in our downward facing dog. Now repeating this a few times, let's see if we can sync our breath with our movement. As we inhale, ripple through and bring ourselves into high plank. Drop the knees just an inch, exhale back towards the heels and bring them up towards the ceiling. Inhale, ripple through, exhale, drop the knees, back to the heels, up towards the ceiling. We'll take three more. Inhale, ripple through, drop the knees, knees towards the heels, up towards the ceiling. Inhale, ripple through, drop the knees, knees towards the heels, up towards the ceiling. And one more time, ripple through, high plank, drop the knees bringing them back towards the heels, up towards the ceiling, downward facing dogs. Take a few breaths here. In and out of the nose, we'll try and steady and slow down our breath, aiming to sink it with the body. From here. We'll take an inhale and we'll sweep up that right leg. We'll bend the knee and we'll take the knee in towards the chest, plugging it in here. Now exhale, take that right foot in between the hands and lift up the, the left kneecap. Gaze is forward, spine is long, back is flat. As you exhale, drop the knee, untuck the toe. Slowly bring the sit bone back towards the heel. Now the top of the spine starts to round here. Well, we're trying to see if we can straighten out that right leg as much as we can. Now, maybe your right sole of the foot stays on the floor and this is where you're at today with a generous bend in that right leg. Maybe you take the foot up towards the shin and try to straighten out that right leg, lengthening out the spine as you exhale and take the hands further away from the body and the forehead towards the right knee. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. And as you inhale, slowly bring yourself back. Back is flat, gaze is forward, bending generously into that knee, framing the front foot. We'll tuck the left toes and we'll lift the left kneecap. On an inhale, take the hands first of all onto the right shin and then in line with the ears. Lift up that right knee, squaring the hips to the front edge of the mat. See if you can soften the shoulders down away from the ears. As you exhale, frame that right foot. And this time, take the sit bones back towards the heels. And then take that right foot and keep it on the mat or take it up towards the right shin. Now again, really intense stretch, so stay with it. Breathe through the discomfort and if it feels too much, just pull back. Only go as far as you need to. Taking another inhale, we'll generously bend again into that right knee. We'll gaze forward, back is flat. Inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, we frame that right foot. Now stay heavy on the left hand and inhale, sweep up the right. Three breaths. Rolling everything open. 
towards the right thighs. Exhale, frame that right foot. Take the right foot back to meet the left. Drop the knees and tuck the toes. We'll slowly exhale, elbows in line with the body to coming chin, chest to the mat. Inhale, sweeps you up for low cobra. Elbows draw in towards each other. Exhale, brings you back. Tuck the toes. Take the sit bones back towards the heels. Sit bones up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Slowly coming back into your breath. And we'll get ready to take it on the opposite side. On the inhale, sweep up that left leg. Bend the knee and take the knee in towards the chest, rippling through, really dramatic in your movement. Seeing where you'd like to foot the foot to land. And slowly exhale, bring it in between the hands. Drop the knees, untuck the toe. Back as flat gaze as forward. As you exhale, take the sit bones back towards the heels. The top of the spine starts to round. Left foot stays where it is. Or maybe the left foot comes towards the left shin. As you take your forehead towards the knee. And lengthening out the spine here. Staying with your breath. Drawing everything inwards. Gaze forward on an inhale, bring a generous bend back into the knee. Now tuck the right toe, lift the right kneecap, and on an inhale, sweep the arms in line with the ears. Hips face the front edge of the mat, lift up that right knee, arms are strong, but dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Try and be a little bit soft in your movement. It's very tempting to hold tension, particularly when we have to remember to breathe also. As you exhale, frame that left foot. Now take the right heel towards the mat. As you inhale to add a length in the spine and as you exhale to bring the heels towards the mat, forehead towards the knee. Maybe the left leg lifts up, maybe it doesn't. See what you need and honor that. Slowly bend back into that left knee. Take the hand onto the mat. Frame that right foot heavy on the right hand this time and inhale, sweep up that left arm. Rolling open the chest, taking three breaths, gazing up at that left hand. And as you exhale, slowly bring the hand back down. Right foot comes back to meet the left. Drop the knees and tuck the toes. Chin, chest to the mat. Inhale brings you up for low cobra. Exhale brings you back to the mat. Tuck the toes. Take the sit bones back towards the heels. Take the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Downward facing dog. And we'll get ready for our next standing sequence. Inhale, sweep up the right leg. Bend the knee, taking the knee in towards the chest and gently bringing it in between the hands. Gaze forward, back is flat. Coming onto the knife edge of the back foot on an inhale, we'll sweep the arms in line for warrior two. Generous bend in that right leg. Flip the front palm, take the back hand and take hold of the top of the right thigh. On an inhale, sweep the gaze up as the arm comes in line with the ear. Exhale, brings you back to centre. Now taking the hands behind the body, we'll interlace the ten fingers and we'll create a clasped fist. Aligning ourselves with the front edge of our mat, you may need to readjust the back leg if you need to. I definitely do. Gaze is forward. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, bow forward for humble warrior. Take the right shoulder onto the inside of the right knee and try and steady your breath here. On an inhale, slowly make your way back up to centre, straightening out that right leg and taking it in the direction of the left so that we're both, our feet are parallel and they're both facing the long edge of the mat here. They're a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And from here, take the hands onto the hips, lift up the collarbones as you push the pelvis forward, back is flat. As we exhale, keep that spine long and hinge from the hips. Now taking the hands from the hips, placing them in front, underneath the shoulders. Slowly use your breath so that you can fold forward a little bit more. Taking the hands 
in between the feet and then taking the crown of the head in the same direction as the hands. Now we're not in any rush, so just using your breath to bring yourself in. Slow and steady. Maybe the palm of your hands come onto the mat. Maybe they don't. It all depends on what type of body you're in. When you're ready, we'll take the hands to the hips. We'll take an inhale back as flat to prepare. And we'll slowly bring ourselves all the way back to centre. Coming through on the opposite side, take the left foot in the direction of the front edge of the mat, bend generously into that left knee, take the arms again in line with each other, maybe make your stance a little bit wider if you need to, to open out the inside of that hip a little bit more. We'll take the right hand and we'll take hold of the top of the left thigh. We'll flip the front palm and on an inhale we'll allow the gaze to come up. As we exhale, we'll take the hands again, interlace the fingers in a clasped fist. So just to make sure that you can see me, we're interlacing the hands, we're drawing them away from the body, shoulders are in line with the knee, inhale at length, exhale folds you over for humble warrior. Left shoulder onto the inside of the left knee. Three breaths. On your next inhale, slowly make your way back to centre. Straight out that left leg. Take it in the direction of the right leg this time, okay? So our hands are still going to be interlaced behind the, behind the body. And we'll take another wide legged forward fold. So your feet are in the direction of the long edge of the mat. Interlace the 10 fingers, clasp the hands, take them away from you. And as we exhale, we'll keep the back flat and we'll slowly hinge from the hips. Now consciously trying not to hyperextend your shoulders and not taking them any further than they want to go. If this is too much on the shoulders, come back to the first pose that we did with the hands on the hips. If you're here, the forehead is still coming in the direction of the in-between center of your feet. Take an inhale and slowly bring yourself back to center. Okay, we'll pivot the feet towards the left side of the mat. We'll slowly windmill the, oh no we won't, okay. And slowly coming up towards the mat. Okay, so from here we'll come down to the mat via a squat, okay? So heel toeing your feet in so they're about 45 degrees and the toes are facing away from you. Take an inhale, just sweep the arms up so that the hands come together in prayer. And as you exhale, fold so that the sit bones are in line with the knees. Now take the elbows onto the inside of the knees just for a little bit of feedback here. Slowly opening out the hips once more. Maybe rocking left to right. Really gentle movement. And when you're ready, slowly take the hands behind the sit bones and just bring yourself down towards the mat. So we'll take the legs out long and to finish off, we'll just come into a reclining pigeon. So slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Take this, the heels and have them about hip distance apart. You should be able to graze your heels here with your fingertips. Now take that right sole of the foot and bring it over the left knee. Flex that right foot in the direction of your shin just to protect the knee, drawing the knee away from you. We'll interlace the hands behind the left thigh or maybe on top of the left shin. And now the left toes are coming in towards the shin. Should feel a really nice stretch on the outside of the right thigh. Slowing down your breath here. And as we exhale, we'll take that left foot to the mat. We'll uncross the right leg and we'll take it on the opposite side. Left 
foot is over that right knee. Gently draw that left knee away from you and flex the foot in, in towards the left shin. Now taking the hands, interlace them behind the thigh or maybe the top of the right shin bone. The right foot is coming in towards the shin, opening out that left hip. And when you're ready, slowly take the right foot to the mat, take the left foot to the mat, take both knees in towards the chest and wrapping the top of the shins, just gently rock left to right, massage out that lower back. When you're ready, bring yourself over to your right side, right hand brings you back up to center and crossing the legs, a very quick flow, but very effective nonetheless. If you would like to take a shavasana, please feel free to at the end of your practice. If not, hands are coming together in prayer and just thanking the ancient tradition of yoga. Namaste.